The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Father of David Shechter, tell him I see once came, he, he came to the Kaisel and he sees a he just crying, crying. He says, what's, what's the matter? He says, I have to marry off my child. I don't have, the chasen is next week, I don't have a penny. He says, come to my house, I'm going to help you. He was no rich man, to be sure. He came to his house and, and he gives him the entire sum. So, so he was making, he's marrying off his daughter in a month's time. And he had already, uh, he saved up enough money for him. He said, I don't need it now. He needs it this week. I only need it in a month. I'll worry about it then. <laughs> he went to Dava Mincha that day, Rav Shlomke's villa, the Elegy of Shlomke's villa. And he walks in, and Shlomke says to him, David, tell me what mitzvah you did today. I was talking about, you did something extraordinary today. Tell me what you did. You did a mitzvah, you don't know. He said, the obvious says, Rebbe, if you can see on me that I did it such a big mitzvah, so you should also be able to know what mitzvah I did. <laughs> he said, no, 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 you have to tell me. And finally he said, if you'll tell me, I, I, uh, I offer to live with you, Bechavrusa. And he had asked him many times, you want to live with him? So he said, he said, if you'll tell me what you did, he told him the story. He said, when you walked in, I saw that you were so mezuchach, you were so purified, there was such a kedusha on you, and as they were talking, Somebody came in crying, neither Yeshua, his wife wasn't well, and he came to Shlom Kizvila for a bracha, he says, take a bracha from Reb David, because his dar geruch that he is right now, is something that's worthy to take a bracha. This is, this, is, this is what's happening at this time of the year. You know, I think we're just cleaning out for Pesach and kashering. We're becoming cleansed. We're becoming nizdachich. We're becoming purified. Purified to what? Till we reach the level we can let go of the impurities and focus on our relationship with the Rabbeinu Shalom. That's a Dov and Niflis. Look at that, God. We come to the fourth Kais, which is the Kais of... Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org